What's up, everybody? We are just two days away from Season 4 Reloaded and hopefully a needed car nerf, but whatever. Uh, that's kind of a hot take. Uh, we are just two days away, which means, of course, we're going to get nerfs, buffs, but we're also going to get other content like we always do in the mid-season updates. So let's talk about what we are going to get, but before we do that, I do have my Twitch link down below. If you want to see me try out any of the nerfed or buffed weapons or the new weapon, which, spoiler, is the Spaz Shotgun, um, just hop in chat. On the day of the update, I will be playing most of the afternoon or evening. And just let me know what you want to see, and I will be happy to be oblige. Uh, I will happy to oblige. And of course, I'm going to link this down below as well if you want to go through the patch notes yourself. But let's run through it. Of course, as usual, we're going to skip the lore stuff. We're going to skip the multiplayer stuff, and we're going to go straight down to Warzone stuff. And then, of course, focus on what applies across all games. Uh, it's a lot to scroll through, but whenever I click the side stuff, it like never works. I have to click on the same thing like three times to get it to where I want to go, so I'll just scroll. Uh, Call of Duty Warzone overview. Always skip the overview because it's stuff we talk about anyways. Uh, the big thing here is detonation at pop-off power plant. The DNA bomb has detonated at the pop-off power plant, uh, opening new pathways around the point of interest and covering the vicinity in a toxic chemical agent. Exercise caution through the, the, the risk of exposure to the green sludge content much of the vicinity... Exposure to the green sludge content, much of the vicinity appears to have lessened. You should not. That, there's definitely a typo though. Um, now focus on getting in close to explore the outcome of this major attack. It, as you can see, one of the uh, like chimneys here is completely destroyed, except for this little section here. You can see, especially in this little picture here, that a big chunk of the dome in the middle is blown out. There's the green sludge everywhere. There's a better look at the dome here. Inside of the building, there's green sludge everywhere. Not a super huge change, but enough to make the POI definitely play different. This is the devastation. It appears the vast power plant has suffered a catastrophic explosion, spilling this chemical agent across a wide area. The gigantic main cooling tower has almost completely collapsed, and the reactor itself has fully ruptured. Exercise extreme caution when investigating the area. The devastation seems to extend to a number of outbuildings, which are currently designated no-go areas. Operators within the vicinity with little regard to safety have reported a new subterranean network of previously unknown tunnels has now become accessible. Perhaps answers lie down there. So now we're going to also get tunnels, which are, I guess, these, which will obviously change how the POI plays as well. New limited time modes, mutation resurgence quads, and buyback quads. So we are getting, uh, with normal resurgence, this mode centers around dropping into the vicinity of destroyed pop-off power power plant gain victory by any means necessary including exposing your operator to a variety of mutant abilities both mutation resurgence and mutation buyback modes removes all tacticals and lethals from ground loot allowing you to focus on gathering and enhancing your operator's dna to discover multitude of mutations mutation powers the following seven mutations can affect your operators you engage your opponents in any mutation based call of duty warzone match bioshield creates a protective bubble that blocks incoming damage but allows you to shoot out from within the sphere Dive bomb, rocket into the air, and then dive towards your opponent. On impact, any nearby enemies are damaged and pushed back. Mutant Leap, perform a charge jump that covers vast distances. Toxic Stim Cloud, deploy, deploy a poisonous cloud that inflicts damage to your enemies and boosts your squad mate's speed for a short duration. Sludge Sling, toss sludge grenades that explode into a toxic gas cloud on impact. The gas slows and damages enemies over time. Mutant Cloak, turn partially invisible for a short time. You leave green footprints while cloaked. And mutated vision, see enemies outlined in red through walls for a short duration. Uh, so if you remember, we've had like Zombie Royale, we've had the boys, um, uh, the boys event. And so we've had superpowers in Warzone before. It'll be interesting to see how these ones play because those modes were always met with mixed reviews. Redacted weapons, head into battle with the upper echelon of weaponry through new redacted weapons found within loot hot zones and bunkers. These powerful weapons feature more than the traditional five allowed attachments, giving operators who find them an edge in combat. We're also finally getting the Runaway Train public event, where if you played the Santa Slay uh, mode in around Christmas on Urzikstan, it's going to work the same way, where the end zone, instead of closing in on itself and rotating, is going to, the end zone will be attached to the train, and wherever the train goes, the end zone goes. So, of course, you can stop the train and stop the end zone, or you can just fight for the train and last team alive of course wins uh, and then we got call of duty mobile stuff don't care too much about that or warzone mobile and then we have the general overview the reclaimer 18 shotgun aka the spaz shotgun is coming as the mid-season weapon hopefully we don't get some broken uh some broken shotgun meta which of course would not be unexpected with call of duty these days 
but it is going to be a shotgun for our midseason weapon. Who knows how good it'll be? Who knows how bad it'll be? With Warzone, you know if it'll be good, it'll be broken, and if it'll be bad, it'll be horrible. So we'll see. Um, of course, this is a fan favorite shotgun. And then we're getting the Sledgehammer, which, you know, other than for troll content, who really cares about the Sledgehammer for Warzone? And then it's just store offerings. So we are getting content. Is it a whole lot? No, but it's not a whole lot as a long list, but it could be a whole lot with the LTMs, the map change, of course. We'll have to find out and see how well it plays. But uh, that's it. Uh, if, like I said, this will be linked down below. So will my Twitch and all of my socials will also be linked down below. If you want to check those out for yourself, feel free. Any interactions on any other accounts or even on youtube always make my day and please don't forget to like comment subscribe hit that notification bell if you want this type of content early and before other people but i will see you on urzikstan and rebirth island get frying have a good day bye